It would be safe to assume that by now many of you have a device like this one in your classrooms, uh, the Promethean board. My name is Dr. Salim and I'll tell you what I've seen in my walk through to different classrooms, uh, how they are being used and how we can extend the functionality of uh, this very powerful device uh, to extents in which you haven't seen before. So let me show you here i think you know what i have seen so far people are using it you know that you um, just turn it on and you know you go at the bottom of this and in most cases you just go to locker and from locker you open up you know, whatever apps you're using or in most cases people just go to what they call chromium which is an abbreviated version of uh, the browser and here uh, you will go to your Google Classroom or whatever you know you uh, website you want to visit. You just click on that. It takes you there. It takes you to your drive or um, the, your uh, email or you know whatever you want to show you. You can use any of that. But this is far more than just browsing through Chromium. And I know some of you have also started uh, downloading different apps from. Promethean's own store, the Promethean store right here. If you go here, you can download a couple of uh, the uh, the apps. But in most cases, uh, what you are seeing here in Chromium or in here, these are all what they call the mobile version of uh, a Chrome. For example, um, uh, if I go back to Chromium here, Chromium here, this will not allow you, like, you know, if you go to a regular computer and you know you want to go to your uh, Google Meet or if you want to go to another app it should let you do that but in this case uh, because this is a mobile version just like you, know, you have a cell phone so you can consider this entire screen as a giant cell phone that's what it is so if you want to go to Google Meet or if you want to go to Google Classroom for each one of these you would have to have a separate app downloaded so today what I'm going to show you is you know that you can convert this this device from a mobile device or, or an abbreviated version of uh, the browser you can use it as a full-fledged computer uh, just like a regular Chrome uh, Chromebook or, or a very powerful device that you can use you can use like that so before I do that let me show you what's behind this device so let's take a quick look. I'll take this camera here and I'll walk you through the back of this device. If you come to the back of this device, right here at the top, right here at the top, there you go. If you look at this one, this little box is in most cases of what I've seen that this is installed on the top left side of uh, the, the back of uh, this Promethean board and this is what we call a Chrome box this Chrome box is actually a full-fledged com Chrome computer so it has uh, its uh, USB ports it has this uh, uh, your, uh, your uh, the mic port it has uh, uh, the HDMI ports on the back of this so this is a full-fledged computer this is what in most cases I've noticed people are not using it and today I'm going to show you how to use this box on this device, on this uh, Promethean board, so you can use it to its full potential. So let me put it back here. And let me walk you through now how to use the Chrome box part of this. The one you know, that I was showing you before that now we are going to convert this from a mobile or an abbreviated device to a full-fledged computer. So <clears throat> once again, you will go at the bottom of this and now in, in this uh, menu, you will look at what is called this yellow uh, round button is called source. So click on source and you will see that you have two options here. In most cases, you will have two options to choose from source, you have home, and you have you have two options here home and HDMI 2 I'm gonna click on HDMI 2 because that is a source which connects to that Chrome box or the Chrome computer that I was showing you earlier this will open up your familiar 
login screen for uh, your PPS staff account or your Google account. So I've, here, I'm gonna click on my Google account. And hit next. It's going through the logging in steps right now. And here we go. This is your familiar Chromebook or a computer browser window. I'm going to launch this. And now, because the icons and the fonts on this browser are so small that if you're using it in the classroom, it won't be visible to the students who are sitting at the back of the classroom. So what we're going to do here, uh, I would, in this case, we're going to make a small change here so that you know, it becomes the fonts become bigger and the people sitting at the back end of the classroom will also be able to see it. So what, what I'm going to do here, because this is now opening up all these pre-installed uh, apps and all that because I've already logged in to my Google uh, Google login and, and uh, Google login the PPS staff Google login it already populating you know from my other computers wherever I've logged in is populating all those things you know to uh, to kind of confirm if I want to sync with everything else so this allows you to actually import all the settings from your other PPS staff on any other computer that you're using. You don't have to do this every time. It's only one time you're using it and that's it. So now let's make it bigger. So at this point, what you're going to do here, you're going to come here all the way to the bottom right where it has a time and the network icon. You click on that and it will open up this little uh, window here. On this, you're going to click on that the, the gear, the settings gear. You click on the settings gear and it will show you all the settings of your Google Chrome browser. On this setting here, you're gonna click on where it says device. Devices one, two, three, four, and it's the fifth item on the left side. You click on device and then it will further bring you to the right. Uh, it will drop down the menu. It will expand to the menus mouse keyboard and all that click on display and now if you look at that display size it is at the small at the smallest of all what I need to do is to make it the biggest and look this is the voodoo so now you have a very large screen in most cases the students even at the back end of your classroom would be able to see it so I will close this now and I go back to Google and if you see this this is now far bigger than before so I'm gonna click on, let's say Google Classroom, and the way I'm gonna to do to Google Classroom is a regular, you know, you have this nine dots here. This, you click on this uh, nine dots, and here you have your, your full Google menu. In the Google menu, you're gonna click on whatever you want to do. You wanna do your Google account, you know, you wanna to go to your Gmail, you know, you wanna create a mail. Uh, I want to go to my Google Classroom, so I'm going to type here because uh, Classroom Google, and there we go, my Google Classroom, and there we go. All my Google classes are now here. So I'm going to click on any of uh, the Google classes that I have, I'm going to click on that and it will open up a regular Google Classroom. It will also allow me, if you look at the left side, here you have the option to start your class Google Meet. So I'm going to click on join and it will open up the menu for Google Meet. Now the only difference is because this particular Promethean board doesn't have uh, a webcam installed. Most of the teachers have been given a webcam already. So all you need to do is just put a webcam right here at the center of uh, the, uh, the, at the top of uh, the Promethean board and it's a USB port you're gonna plug in at the, at the back in the Chrome box. You don't plug that in anywhere else. You're gonna put that USB uh, port you, in the USB port 
on the Chrome box itself. Once you have plugged that in, you'll be able to see right now it's showing you no camera found because there's no camera installed on this particular device. But once you plug that, any, any webcam install, it will automatically show you your entire class. So that means you can share that class with any other buddy class across uh, uh, the uh, across the city or you know about in, in any, any other across the hallway to any other classroom if you want to share your what's going on in your classroom if you want to buddy up you know with other classes you can do that so all of these are just the beginnings of what this powerful device can do for you you can use this to share this class you know with your administrators they you want to show them uh, how the things are going they can see um, your Google Classroom, the, the, your classroom, the entire classroom through the Google Meet. And also, if there are students who are uh, learning from home or who are absent and they, they, they are on remote learning or any, any um, option like that one, you can still have this, you can engage them you know, in front of the entire class instead of you know, being just on that small device. You can share them, you can share with them the entire class through this, uh, through this uh, powerful, large, lifelike, life-size um, interaction and engagement with them. So this is all I just wanted to show you in this particular video. And I will be creating more and more in terms of the, the software that you can, um, that you can install on, the, on, uh, on this device. So now you're not limited to separate apps. You can go right from here, from this browser, you can go anywhere you want to go. If you want to take them to, um, let's say, if you want to take them to New York Times or any other uh, um, website, if you want to take them to uh, primary sources of any kind, you, you want to play your YouTube here. So you can do all of that, you know, by uh, just showing you, uh, uh, by showing them on a large screen. So this is very important. The one of the principles, one of the 13 principles of effective teaching with technology is to make it to make your presence felt those small devices and and limitations on that hinder that kind of interaction and engagement so make it lifelike make it big make it like this use a chromebox if you haven't done this already until next time thank you